guys, this is Allison from Simplifying Sold and I am back with another quick email tip for you guys today. And today's video is all about using Google Drive integrated with your Gmail. So if you're an agent with a Gmail account who hasn't really dove in and looked around at Google Drive yet, this is a great video for you. So the biggest benefit that Google Drive provides us in relation to being attached to our Gmail accounts is the ability to save and reattach attachments without ever leaving the email app. So what this does is the minute you get an attachment, you are able to hover over it and click add to drive and save it to whatever folder you have. For me personally, I like to set up drive for every client I have and then every property underneath that. That way it's super organized and a big benefit of this is while it may seem repetitive to have all your docs somewhere else, this Google Drive allows you to save pictures, save attachments, save more different types of files than you would normally upload to your compliance system. And if you ever decided to move brokerages, change to DocuSign from Loop, you would still already have all your files in one place and not have to download them all and move them over to the new system necessarily. So by having all your documents and attachments for each file in Google Drive, not only is it easy to save them on the front end, it is even easier to reattach them to a new email. So for example, let's say we get an amendment from the other side and it is executed. We can just save that to our drive and then go back into our compliance and upload it, whatever it's needed later. This prevents you from having to have your email open, log into dot loop, download the attachment, find the loop, re-upload it. And on the back side, from having to log into dot loop, find the loop, download the attachment, add another download to your computer storage, and then reattach it to the email. Like I said, you will still need to upload your documents to DotLoop, DocuSign, Skyslope, etc. for compliance purposes, but for the point of sending documents and making sure they don't get lost in your email, which I know is a big issue for agents, Google Drive is an excellent tool. It basically will save you five to 10 minutes each time you need to send a document from having to go hunt it down from where it was previously or having to search your emails when the client calls you and you haven't had time to upload it to dot loop yet. So I'm going to insert a quick tutorial here that shows you exactly how to do this. And this is a huge time saving tip. Okay. Here is how to easily utilize drive to save and send attachments from Gmail. So I'm going to click on this email I just received with my example attachment. Now let's say this is for my Sally Smith seller at 123 Main Street. I am going to highlight over the PDF and click this add to drive button. Then it's going to give me the option to organize and I'm going to go to Sally's folder and then to her 123 Main Street folder. And if I press move here, it is automatically going to put that in that folder. So if I went over to my drive, here it is. So if you do use drive to create folders for clients or properties, this is a great way to streamline saving those attachments outside of downloading them, etc. Um, and for compliance purposes, if your brokerage uses DocuSign or things like that, some of them let you upload documents straight from drive, which helps streamline it more. Okay, now let's say this was an executed amendment from the listing agent and I'm going to send it to the title company. We're going to compose a new email and then I'm going to click this drive button down here. If you see, if you highlight your cursor over it, it says insert files using drive. My drive, I'm going to go to Sally's folder, 123 Main Street and select the appropriate document. And you'll see two options down here, insert as drive link or attachment. Personally, I use attachments since I like to keep my drives private except for myself or the clients. And then I'm going to press insert. Now it's perfectly attached. I know it's the right one because it's directly from drive where I had it saved and you can fill out the rest of your email and send. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip and tutorial. One of my other favorite features about this product is that it is just as easy to use the save to drive and pull from drive on your phone. And as agents who are always on the go, if you do need to send an attachment quickly, this makes it really simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip. If you are looking for more tips like this, I will link my blog below and you can check out the rest of my YouTube channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.